Okay, this is not only my uh, second bedroom, but it's also my smoking area. I have a fantastic fan right there, and what I do is I um, turn it to blow out, and I sit right underneath so no smoke, because I don't want smoke in here, because I can't stand the smell of smoke myself, okay? And I turn it on, and the smoke goes right out. And, like, it's cold here right now. I don't know if you noticed. I got long johns on and fuzzy slippers. It's cold. Last night it got really cold, and I used my furnace for the first time. But I don't want to be using that furnace like that because, um, you know, I'll run out of propane. And really, as long as it's, like, 50 degrees, if I have that set for 50 degrees, it'll go on and it'll keep my pipes from freezing. I don't think they'd freeze at till, like, 40 or 30 is supposed to, but, um, I don't know. I don't trust that at all because I lived in a trailer park. For a while and it seemed like when it was 40 degrees the pipes would freeze so I don't this is this is insulated and it has the heated pipes but that's not gonna help you if you don't turn on the heat right so I think that's probably what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep it set to like 50 I don't know that's pretty cold but we'll try because I can also heat the coach with the engine you know with the I can turn it on and a heat will blow back here. So I have two ways. I was watching some videos and they were saying that, you know, it's good to have an electric space heater or a little propane heater. And it's like, I don't have no place to put anything else hardly. Do I really need that? I'm not going to be in the cold that long, right? I don't think so. But anyhow, I was talking about the smoking room. So that's what I do. And like what I've been doing is to keep the heat in, I just uh, shift this. Okay? And it comes all the way up to the top. So when I smoke, I shut this all the way and turn that on and smoke and turn it off. And I guess that helps a little bit. I think what I'm going to start doing tonight is shutting this when I go to bed so that way the heat will stay right in my area because I'm not going to sleep up here I'm going to sleep back there so that's what I'm going to do alright there's the newest addition to my equipment yep that's a little buddy heater I'm turning it on for the first time I bought it a few days ago and it warmed up a little bit but it was cold this morning, so I started to turn my heater on, and I'm like, wait a minute, let me try this. And it works pretty good. Yeah, it's warm in here already. Good morning, everybody. Kathy here with Butterfly Express. It's Monday, September, oh, uh, what is it, 18th. And um, the rummer sale's over, I guess. We did two weekends, and Saturday, we only had like three people stop. And the last person that stopped um, bought a couple things, um, and there was still uh, quite a bit of stuff left, really. But I guess, I don't know what we're going to do with it, take it to the Salvation Army or something. Uh, my, sis my other sister, Ann, had donated a PlayStation with some games and some clothes and purses, and... Um, the PlayStation sold with the games for $40 altogether, and she thought I should put it for like $125 on eBay. Maybe I should have did that. You know, my other sister Mary um, said, you know, nobody's going to pay that much for it because it's old, and I don't know anything about PlayStations or Xboxes. I've never played a video game. I really don't see see the purpose you know I don't see they don't look fun to me but that's me so um yeah there's a lot of stuff there I'm not sure what to do I I brought back in some of my Bible books because I'm gonna try to find somebody to take those I don't want to just let those go because they are good books and for somebody who can't get on the internet and 
um, look stuff up, they're good. You know, Bible concordances, and I have a Vines, um, I forget what they call that, all those Vines books, Bible definitions, or I can't remember what that is. Um, I've got a lot of things like that, and I don't want to just, um, you know, throw those away. They're very important. It's God's Word. We need to know that these days that we're living in, what God's Word says and what it means, because sometimes it's hard to understand. I'm sitting up here in my living room, I guess, and I'm drinking my coffee. I was watching some YouTube videos. And trying to decide what I'm going to do today. Um, I guess I'm going to put water in the tank. Uh, last night, my sister knocked on my door and she had hooked up her hose and she wanted to put water in my tank. And I was very uncomfortable using a regular hose because I had been watching videos and they all said to use the white RV fresh water hose because it doesn't have lead. And so, uh, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable. She has, they have well water here, but they have um, it going through a water purifying system and softener. And I really didn't hear anything about like what kind of water, it has to be potable water. I had two fresh water hoses, we have to put them together and she wanted to use that hose because it was really long and I wouldn't have to move my RV to put water in it but if I use the two fresh water hoses I will have to pull up closer to the house which is which is fine you know I can do that I haven't been moving you know I've been moving it and parking for long periods of time so far first at my apartment now here I've been here since September 1st so it's been 17 days 18 days um and I'm getting used to living in this you know, I've been figuring out ways to save water and save propane. Okay, I had to take that jacket off. It's starting to get warm or I'm having a hot flash, one or the other. Yesterday I went to the truck stop and washed my hair. That's the second time I did it. And the first time I went, they um, issued me a rewards card. But I guess she forgot to activate it. And yesterday when I went in, um, this girl activated it and she didn't charge me for the shower so that was pretty cool you know because I had bought a couple bananas and all she charged me was 99 cents and I thought that was, that's weird I don't know if she did that on purpose or if that was part of the reward that'd be cool I didn't I didn't notice a um, discount on showers because it's twelve dollars to take a shower at the truck stop but I'm just gonna do that for a while because I'm really not sure what I'm going to do about my hair you know so far that's what I've come up with I don't want to get a gym membership because I can't see me going to a town and on Sundays looking for a uh, a gym it seems like it'd be easier just to find a truck stop because um, I'll be it you know I'll be if I'm traveling I will be stopping at places like that for gas anyhow and also because I might not keep all this hair I might get tired of all that because it's kind of a hassle to um, have to go somewhere to wash my hair There's I can't wash it here not this length it would take a lot of water one of my projects is going to be to clean the screens um, I especially noticed in the back one that there's a lot of fuzzies on the screen of the fan and little dead bugs and some big dead bugs um it looks like you can take this off the screen i'm gonna see if i can find information out before i start doing that so i can clean it off so because the air isn't coming through like it was before yesterday especially i noticed because it was kind of warm yesterday and usually there's a breeze, you know, coming through the door real good. And I couldn't tell if it was maybe it was the wind was blowing the wrong direction. But I'm thinking that the airflow is being limited because of the fuzzies and the dead bugs. So I'm going to try cleaning that. 
and see if that works. Now, one other thing I have to do is I have to look at every single thing that I plug in and use and see how much amps it draws because I don't really understand all this but I know this is a 30 amp RV and so I won't be able to run any more than 30 amps now I'm plugged into shore power right now which is 110 I don't know how that translates to amps but like right now um, everything that I have plugged in, I have my computer plugged in, I have this um, strip plugged in that's got four ports to plug in and charge my iPad, my iPhone, those things. I have a coffee maker plugged in, what else? Um, that's it, except I have the string of lights plugged in back there. I know I won't be able to use that all the time. So let me figure out how much amps that is and maybe today or tomorrow, one day this week anyhow, I'm going to unplug I'm going to turn on my generator because it looks like it's probably going to work again. And I am going to see how much stuff that I can power with that generator going. Because I have to figure that out real good because when I leave here, um, I'm not going to be plugged in to places. I might maybe once in a while once a week it would be nice to be able to do that I see the nomadic fanatic mentioned that he usually uh, camps at a campground once a week just to take care of business like um, washing clothes most campgrounds have washing machines or at least you can find them anyhow it looks like um, I have one of my burners isn't working now for some reason it's probably just maybe some Problems fell in it or something. I don't know. I see it sparking, but it's not lighting. So let me look. I have to look at that, and I have to look at a video because I do not want to take anything apart that I don't know what I'm doing. Because I don't, I don't understand how things work. I don't expect somebody to be there to help me all the time. You know, I'm going to be on my own. I might find people to travel with. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. And where I'm going, um, I was hearing about an event in Washington, D.C. from October 6th through the 9th, and it's a Christian event. It's it's at the National Mall. I can't remember what it's called for nothing now. But I was looking at that, and there are some campsites and close to, uh, close to it, sort of close to it, in Maryland. And one of them has a shuttle to the National Mall. And I'm thinking that would be uh, really, I would really love to do that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do or where I'm going to go yet. It's a little nerve-wracking. But I need to um, really figure out, uh, finish figuring out everything that I'm doing and how things are working well enough so that at least when I get on the road, I can, you know, I can do it. And I know that I will meet people, and I also know that anytime I have a real problem, that God will send somebody to help me. And so I'm confident of that, that He is not going to just send me out into the wilderness and leave me defenseless. He's going to be there to help me the whole time. He's going to be holding my hand the same way He's been holding my hand and walking with me. And I trust God. I just don't know what I'm doing yet.